Okay, this is my attempt. I have a Visani 4.5 cubic foot fridge. Um, big thing with these little fridges is that they do not cycle the cool air. So it creates frozen bottles in the back that explode all the time. And uh, I'm putting a little fan in the fridge so that it can circulate air and hopefully I can keep my thing lower than six and a half so that they're ice cold beverages and also cycle the cold air. So what I'm doing is I'm tying it into the door switch. I found a 110 volt uh, fan. I'll put the link in the description below on um, Amazon. And um, I'm wiring into the door switch. The other thing I believe you have to do because it's a 10 watt, at least my model, is a 10 watt um, light. So when the door is open, the switch will open and turn the light on and it will turn the fan off. When I close the switch, the fan will turn on. So essentially when the door is open, the fan will be off. Door is closed, the fan will be on. And the only thing I found, the problem set, is because the way they wired this, the light still stays on to a certain degree. And that is due to, um, I believe, the way the circuitry is done. But this is the simplest way I found to do it. I'm going to put an LED light in there that requires much less um, wattage. And display fridges have their lights on all the time. So if this one is on to a certain degree all the time, what does it really matter? And it's also for beverages. So we'll see if this works. Okay. Uh, getting closer in here. I've drilled a, so here's the fan. There's little wires that come from it. Um, I've already tested the fan, 110. You can wire it either way, because it's AC. Um, it even says so in their mark, or little uh, sheet. You drill a small hole here, so that this uh, door switch can slide in here. I've routed it through here. I'm about to solder these two together onto these terminals, and then I'm gonna put it back together, and I'll show another clip of it looking, um, you know, once it's prettied up. Okay, so I've soldered them up. I've covered them back with the little protectors. I'm gonna go ahead and fire the fridge up and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, so I used hot glue. I used a drill. Uh, I used some marking. So I just hot glued the two bottom, I, I glued the uh, grill plate on and then I drilled two holes for these to slide into on either side. All right, went out of focus, but they're not actually screwed into the side of the fridge at all. All they are is just through the plastic in the side. And then I put some hot glue on it, tacked it, and then I put hot glue to hold it up. And I mean, it's solid. Um, then the wiring runs, I put a little hot glue there just to seal it up so that it's not exposed and then as I close this, door is closed, fan kicks on. The light dims slightly, doesn't go off just because the way it's wired. I've tried it every which way. Um, and then door opens, the fan cuts off. We'll see how long the fan lasts and whether or not this works out well. And then again, I'm waiting for the LED bulb to come in that is a lower wattage. So the light may or may not stay on completely once I get that wattage in, um, but we'll see. And that forms a continuity loop. But a little fan and my beer fridge. And let me scale back real quick. And you can see it running right there. All right, let's see how this works. <laughs> 